Hello everyone, the Chocolate Grotto for another video review. This time we have the Aero Chocolate Caramel. So it's new this one. Um, yeah, new. <laughs> yes, I saw this um, sort of rather... Um, well, it wasn't really... It was on display, I guess, but it was a bit um, subtly displayed. Let's put it that way in Asda, uh, my local supermarket. So could have easily walked past it, and I almost did. Um, but yeah, so but luckily I didn't. So there we go. It looks very nice. Now, I don't, I don't know. It does seem to have actual car caramel in it. And I guess that's... Does make sense because it's called chocolate caramel, but I mean, you probably would think, oh, it's got caramel, you know, as in like, when I say caramel, runny caramel, but I don't think it does. But it's an interesting one, it's a nice looking uh, wrapper. See, clearly it's got the uh, golden colour of uh, caramel, the universal caramel colour, I think you'd say. <laughs> Which is probably because it is that colour, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, so what does it say? Uh, well, feel the bubbles melt, it says TM, so it's trademarked. Hmm. So, sharing bar. Um, well, I'm not sure about that, but here we go. <laughs> it's a bigger bar, let's put it that way. Yeah, feel the bubbles melt, it says, on that side there. And also, um, so it sort of seems you turn it this way. So it's actually upside down now, so it says feel the bubbles melt under this little shenanigan here. So there we go, yeah. So, interesting. so that's there. Clearly, they've trademarked it, paid the money for that, so they're going to take advantage of it, I guess. <laughs> um, so what have we got going on? What does it say? Smooth milk chocolate. Um, yeah, smooth filled chocolate filled with caramel flavour bubbles. Oh, there we go. So that's, that's a weird explanation. A caramel flavoured bubbles. Um, so I don't. Yeah. So I guess I guess the middle is is covered in in a in a separate t type of milk chocolate. Then isn't it? So obviously if the bubbly bit in the middle is um, the chocolate or whatever it's made out of, which is presumably. I mean, I'm assuming it's chocolate bubbled, chocolate bubbles because it, it, caramel flavoured bubbles. See, it's a funny description that, and I don't quite like it <laughs> because it should be like caramel flavored bubbly chocolate or something like that, or air, or aerated chocolate. It's it's not caramel flavored bubbles. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess it makes sense, but I mean that's the official description. That kind of ex that kind of description should be <clears throat> on the back here, on the front rather. You know, caramel flavored bubbles. You know where it's beautified. It's it's the you know, it's to grab your attention. Whereas the actual official description should say what it is, and um, and I don't kind of I don't feel like that's what it is. Yeah, you know, smooth milk chocolate filled with caramel flavored bubbles. If you fill chocolate with bubbles, then the chocolate that's filled with bubbles is the flavor of the bubbles. <laughs> I mean, I don't you know. Yeah, I don't I don't like that at all. The the pedant in me um, does not like that description whatsoever. So milk chocolate contains milk solids, fourteen percent minimum, and vegetable fat in addition to cocoa butter. So there we go, lots of milk in bold. Um, so there we are. It's got palm on it as well, palm stuff, palm fat. Um, four pieces, one serving, know your servings. And uh, it says per 100 grams, the bar is 100 grams. It's noticeably quite light actually. I have to say, when you hold this in your hand, for the size of it, it doesn't weigh much at all. Um, now, of course, I don't know, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not a set of scales myself. I can't tell you what would, what, what weight I would expect this to weigh, but. Um, yeah, it feels like it's, you know, maybe 50% lighter than it, you'd think it would be. So obviously because it is filled with loads of bubbles. So it makes sense, I guess. Um, so what have we got? So it's 100 gram bar in whole in total. So it's 532 calories, 30.1 grams of fat, 17.8 of which is saturates. And it gives you per four pieces, which is 77 calories, 4.4 grams of fat, 2.6 of which is saturates. So I think one row is four pieces. And uh, I think it's four by seven, I think. Yeah, this is before. I think it's four by seven. We'll find out. But uh, yeah, so there we go. So hmm, that's the seventh of the bar. <laughs> uh, yeah, a bit awkward, but there we are. Okay. So anything else to say? Nice. Um, yeah, it says uh, like all milk chocolate. This is like um, it's got one of the asterisks. Oh yeah, it looks so well. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's got an asterisk for like one of those sword things. It says um, like all milk chocolate, aero milk chocolate is naturally free from artificial colors and preservatives. There we go. It's got the Cocoa Plan, Nestle Cocoa Plan, supporting farmers for better chocolate. I always say that Nestle got into trouble about 20 years ago, or well, roughly when uh, they weren't supporting fair trade and uh, they were boycotted and stuff like that. So I always make sure. So nowadays, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, super vegetarian, so yeah, so nowadays they always have that Cocoa Plan thing on. I feel the bubbles melt, of course, as I say. And I think that's quite a nice little picture there of what you're expecting. I like the, uh, I like when the air have got this sort of matte. 
semi-matte, isn't it? I guess it's a bit metallic. This bit's like a matte metallic one as well. Yeah, I don't know. This bit's matte anyway. <laughs> I'm not sure how you describe this. But um, yeah, so the, yeah, I quite like that. And uh, of course, the arrow has got the, uh, the bubbles in it. I would say this, these bubbles are, are a lot bigger than the, the bubbles you get in Cadbury's Whisper, and I do tend to prefer Cadbury's Whisper. Um, but you know, we'll see what this one's like. I'm excited about this one. Um, I think Aero's called Bros. Well, I know it's called Bros in the Netherlands anyway. Uh, I don't know if it's in the rest of Europe. So, hmm. There we go. Right. Well, I'm excited. I think we should give it an open. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Right, okay, let's give this an open then. So, um, some flourishes here. Let's just measure these. Uh, flourishes so there's quite a yeah I'm gonna lose a good four centimeters I reckon or three at least so it's about 20 I don't know 20 and a half centimeters at the moment yeah 20 and a half centimeters so we've got this nice sort of instruction there peel <laughs> so we'll do that oh it's got it's got re peel and reclose so hmm there you go look peel reclose there we go this doesn't say reseal because something <laughs> You can't really see it. Um, okay, so there we go. So it opens quite nicely. There we go. Nice jacket. Okay, let's take it out. There's a nice smell coming from it, I have to say. Now, you never know for sure whether it's a smell from the chocolate or whether it's a smell that's been pumped in. Because I know you do that with um, various coffees, you know, they put basically when the before they seal up the coffee, they pump in the smell that they've extracted previously. So they could easily be doing that, you know, but um, it does smell nice. So it's now uh, 17 centimetres, 17.2 maybe at most. What, what was it before? 20, 21 and a half or something? 20 and a half? Yeah, it's probably 20 and a half before maybe, or 21. Well, either way, whatever it was, it's down at least three centimetres. <laughs> but it's now... Uh, yeah, and it's now seven, just over 17, so we've lost at least three centimetres. Maybe four, like I said we would, so probably four, I think. But there we go, let's have a look then. Um, yeah, so it looks well, it looks very nice, doesn't it? And I'm going to be careful about holding hold it to it. It's not melty too much today, but uh, hopefully you can see that all right. Got some nice um, decoration there, you can see the arrow. Well, it's all bubbly shaped as well. It says arrow on it, I don't know if you can see that. It's quite flat underneath. Smooth, I think. Well, relatively smooth. There's some bubbles there, but no tie tracks from a convey belt or anything. It's nice. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so it's a four by seven bar, so one row isn't really a quarter. It's hmm, just under a quarter. Um, just under an eighth, really. Yeah. So it's a bit of a strange one. Well, it's a seven. <laughs> That's just under an eighth, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so it's eight and a half centimeters wide. Um, the height is obviously peaks and troughs here, so it, so that to the trough, it's roughly half a centimetre, and then to the top, though it's a bit difficult to say that one. So the top is about 1.3 centimetres. So there we go. Hmm. Interesting. That's very nice. Yes, that's very nice. I think you'd say. Um, yeah, I quite like the look of it. Really, quite like the bubbles. I think they've. You know, I don't. I know Cadbury with their dairy milk now just do them as bubbles, and I think they might look a bit more. I think I'd. Well, these are sort of more spherical bubbles, aren't they? I think the ones in Cadbury's dairy milk are sort of um, a more of a strange um, ovally type bubble. But I think I think maybe the, the dairy milk ones might be better, really. But this one looks a bit more jam packed and uh, looks like getting more chocolate with it. So yeah, which I think is what we all want. Okay, so right, let's uh, give it a snap then. So there we go, we can clearly see what it looks like. So you can see all those nice lovely bubbles there. Let's give it a smell. It does smell nice, yeah. So even if the flavour was all um, injected back in, that snappage is um, give me some nice flavour. Of course, you know, the, the bubbles might be, the smell might be pumped into the bubbles and uh, thing in it, but yeah. So I guess, I don't know, I'm assuming the chocolate in the middle is a different chocolate to the outside, but I don't know. I don't really know how these are made, but um, it does look slightly lighter, doesn't it? you would say. And I know that um, when he did a white chocolate one, it was, used to be white chocolate on the inside covered in milk chocolate, so that is something that they do do. Um, okay, so obviously, yeah, one one row with one of these blocks, roughly with this, and obviously it's not a neat cut that, but this is roughly your um, 77 calories, 4.4 grams of fat, 2.6 of which are saturates. So let's see if I can, I want to have a look mid-bubble really, 
Okay, yeah, so the bubbles do go pretty much right to the top actually. You can see that there. So yeah, so it's clearly a quite a thin covering of chocolate. So it's all bubbly all the way down, which is good. There's a bit of a yeah. Yeah, I think that's successful. I think it does go pretty much to the top there. I think my knife maybe has scrunched it a bit, but yeah, I think that goes the bubbles go right to the top there. No, very nice. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know what we've got to do? We've got to taste it. <laughs> Let's do it. Right, okay, so uh, I'm going to taste this Aero, was it caramel chocolate or whatever? What's it called? Aero, Aero chocolate caramel, there we go, the way around. <laughs> so we're going to have one segment, so we um, in this bubbly segment there. Mm. Yes, very nice, very nice. Full of bubbles. Let's, uh, yeah, let's um, give it a go. Mm. Well, it's very, um, I suspect very caramelly. <laughs> mm, it is just chocolate caramel. It's just a chocolate flavoured caramel in the centre. Um, mm, it's a funny one. It's a, it's a very light chocolate. It's probably nicer than... I think the chocolate's got a bit more body to it this time. Or it feels a bit more substantial than the usual chocolate you get for, in, um, from Nestle in, in, in Aero. I'm never that keen on it that as much, really. It's okay, but um, mm, I think this tastes a bit nicer because of the caramel flavouring. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. I think, I think it tastes, it tastes a bit like, you know, you go to Starbucks or somewhere like that and you have a caramel flavoured coffee and it, it, it tastes like that. <laughs> you know, it's like, it is, it, I mean, it doesn't, it's not no surprise, I guess, because this is what it is. It's caramel flavoured chocolate, but it tastes like it's caramel flavoured. Um, you know, it's, and, and I guess that's what, that's, that's what it is, but um, yeah, I you need, but it tastes like it's flavoured is what I'm getting at. It doesn't taste, um, I don't know, because chocolate's quite smooth. It melts in your mouth. You could, you'd think, oh well, I'm eating it. You know, it's gonna, you know, you you might think, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm having caramel here, um, hmm, but you don't. <laughs> hmm. So you know what I mean? It's got that sort of, hmm, that sort of not not caramel taste. Um, and it's fine, I guess. It tastes a bit sort of like a, sort of like a burnt caramel. More of a toffee. Mm. Kind of taste to it as well. Mm. So, I prefer more of a, mm. which I guess is because it is just a flavour rather than, you know, obviously the, presumably that sweetness to caramel comes with the fact the actual caramel itself because there's lots of sugar in it. And it's because this is just flavoured. You just live with the concentrated caramel taste, which is probably more like a, a fudge taste. You know, um, or a toffee taste. So it's okay. I think it tastes nicer than a regular arrow, I think. I think the, the caramel taste just gives the chocolate a nicer taste, basically. Um, you know, not a nicer chocolatey taste, because it's still more of a caramel, but it's just a nicer taste in general. And I think that's that's a good thing. But I think it's... um, I prefer runny caramel. I don't know why they don't do a runny caramel one. And I know there's... Um, I think Milka do, or is it a Luffley bar in Europe? I read, I read it years ago, actually. I need to probably re-review that. It's one of the first reviews. Um, and that has that has actual caramel in it. It's basically the same thing, really. It's just kind of sized aerations in the chocolate, you know. Um, uh, although they are, they seem to be a bit smaller than usual, but I'm not sure. Hmm. But anyway, it's basically the, this this bar, um, but it has actual caramel in it, and, that, and I think that's the way forward. I think flavouring the chocolate with caramel. I don't know why they don't just put caramel in it, and I think that would just be a lot better. So what you know, so that's nice. Hmm, I think it's just crying out for just having actual caramel in it. I don't really know why they haven't just done that. Maybe it's a cost thing. Maybe it's just easier to just flavor, just throw in a bit of flavouring into the uh, into the the chocolate that goes in the centre. But um, which is probably the answer, isn't it? So I think I probably answer my own question. But you know, I think it'd be nice just to have it, just for them to go all out and uh, hmm, do a pop up. Because I think if you saw this. I think mean, you probably would be expecting caramel, and I and I immediately knew, for whatever reason, I don't know if they've done it before, or I think they've probably done it before, really, um, or something similar anyway, that's made me be, be um, bit, that made me immediately check that there, whether there was caramel in it or not, and um, I think you would otherwise possibly think there was actual caramel in there, just from the packaging and things, and obviously, there is a, there is a, 
you know, the, the title does say chocolate flavour or whatever, it says choc uh, chocolate caramel. And it does have a picture there and there's no caramel in sight. But I still think you'd probably assume there was caramel in there, or you could do. And I think you'd be disappointed. And I think it would be better if there was caramel in there. But all in all, it's not too bad. Um, I say it's better than a regular air, I think. I think that, that does, just does lift up the chocolate taste um, enough, I think, for me to make it, you know, where I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't doesn't detract from the, the regular era by any means. I think it does improve upon it, so in my opinion anyway. And um, hmm. So, yeah, I don't mind it. I think it's just underwhelming, I think. I think you're expecting more from it. Even though it is nice, I think you're expecting more. So I think it ultimately leads to a bit of disappointment, really. So I'm going to say it's probably a high three and a half, but I'm going to say three and a half out of five. Um, I really like it. I think it's nice. I think the chocolate tastes nice with the added caramel flavour, but I just think it does taste of a caramel flavour. Rather than, and I think it would be better rather than the flavoured chocolate. It was actually had chocolate with caramel in it, and I think that was would just be ultimately better. But all in all, it is it is nicer than a, a normal aero in my opinion. So, mm. so there's definitely some benefit to be had from having it. But um, yeah, I, I think it's ultimately probably going to disappoint really. But um, and I think just a missed opportunity. I think all in all, you know. But as I say, it does still have some merit, but just not enough of it. I don't think. Okay, guys, so enjoyed that review. Uh, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my videos, things like this. I've done loads of videos now as well. Um, probably at the start of the video, I should have said this, but uh, yeah, feel free to go and look at my back catalogue as well. There's probably some kind of link at the top, or it will have been at some point, or at the end of the video, or something like that. So check out all my other videos. I've done about 600 now. Some of them better than others, of course. <laughs> some of them, uh, you know, are a bit older now, but uh, check them all out. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. See ya. Bye.